Athletes celebrate in sports all the time. When all your hard work and dedication pays off, it feels so good to let your emotions out when you win or score. But these particular celebrations were way too over the top or disrespectful, leading to backlash and even being sent off by referees. Today we're going through the 13 worst celebration moments in sports. This first player was given a red card and was sent off the pitch after his celebration. The goal he scored was amazing, but it's his celebration that got him into trouble. The referee first gives him a yellow card for removing his shirt, but then gives him a red card for jumping into the stands with the fans. He was gutted when he was sent off the pitch. This next footballer does the absolute worst celebration you've ever seen. He actually uses a Nazi salute after he scores this goal. What probably was more unbelievable is that he wasn't even sent off for this, but he was of course later penalised and banned from playing nationally for his national team after he offended every single Jewish fan and person probably in the world. <laughs> Από την στιγμή που ισοφάρισε για να μην αφήσει την ΑΕΚ η οποία θέλει να επιτεθεί και να ξαναπάρει προβάδισμα να μην την αφήσει να το κάνει Ο Κορδέρο το σου την μπάλα κοντράρι γκολ από τον Κατήτη νομίζω σε αυτόν κοντράρισε η μπάλα και αυτό είναι που πανηγυρίζει έξω αλλά και δείτε πως τον κυνηγάνε οι συμπαίκτες του για να πανηγυρίσουν όλοι μαζί τον γκολ που ξαναδίνει Προβάδισμα στην ΑΕΚ στο 84ο λεπτό για να το βάλει στη θέση του καλοκαίρι για τα τελευταία α, λεπτά. Εσείς βλέπετε πάντα τους πανηγεί αλλά φάνει για να πισμώνει περισσότερο, φάνει για να βγαίνει άμεσα. This next moment comes from an NFL game. After scoring a touchdown, this player goes crazy, grabbing the ball and even clinging onto the goal. He then goes to celebrate with his teammates. But the game can't continue straight away because the player actually bends the goal, taking them a while to put it back upright again. Nick Saban's got another stable of tailbacks over there. Play action for Breeze. Oh, look at that double move. Deep ball, Graham down the sideline. Not going to get it. Touchdown, New Orleans. And Graham, much like Tony Gonzalez, with the stuff over the crossbar. Shear goes up. Twists the goalpost a little bit. Gonna have to get the level out. Oh, no. <laughs> and his 11th touchdown catch of the year. They're going to straighten that thing out before Hartley tries an extra point. Touchdown celebration for Jimmy Graham, up and over, and then pulls the goal. And they got to. This guy's the MVP right now. He's got to get out there with the longest level I've ever seen. Got to get that baby plumb. We've got the crossbar straight again. This next referee gave this player a red card after he scored. The reason being, he took off his shirt and literally sat with fans and celebrated, which I personally think is really nice. But he still received a red card anyway, which has haunted his career. And he's done this over five years ago. This next player was already on a yellow card, but this moment sent a referee over the edge and gave him a red card. The player scores a goal and has a very strange idea for a celebration. He goes into the stands and sits down and pretends to be a fan. There was nobody in the stands, so this wasn't unsafe or anything, but he still got the red card anyway.
This next celebration, this next celebration moment actually cost this next runner the race. The runner thought he was so far in front of everyone that he wouldn't be caught up by anyone, but this turned out to be completely wrong. He slows down, celebrates, and tries to get the fans applause, but this was a mistake as he was overtaken by another runner at the last second, and he came second place. Take my word for it. There's a moral to this. Story. Uh, yeah, maybe next time. Wait that extra second before celebrating. A college track star learned the dangers of premature celebration. A runner from the University of Oregon thought he had the race locked up, started waving, pumping up the crowd, and he was passed by a runner from the University of Washington in the final seconds, not just the final seconds, the difference with a tenth of a second. This next celebration was something that these footballers choreographed while training and probably never thought they'd be punished for. But as it goes, one of the players was sent off for it. The celebration shows a footballer sh fake shooting his teammate and the other teammate falling to the floor. This next Argentinian footballer, Carlos Tevez, scores a goal, takes off his shirt and starts doing a chicken celebration. We've already seen that taking off your shirt gets you a yellow card, but this dance cost Tevez a red card as well and I'm not sure exactly why. The referee is definitely being over the top for this and it's quite harsh but he's still got the red card anyway. This next celebration is very interesting. This player scores after he's given a pretty straightforward shot at goal. But after he scores, he actually insults his own fans by using an offensive gesture. He even knows that he will get sent off for this, but does it anyway, probably after being taunted before. The next player does something that would obviously get him into trouble, and he's very stupid for doing this, but this player actually puts his back to the fans and actually gets his arse out in front of thousands of fans, which the referee did not take kindly to, quickly sending him off the pitch for this taunt. This next player probably has the dumbest celebration I've ever seen, which would obviously get him a red card, and he's lucky he didn't get fined for public indecency. This player scores, then shortly after pulls down his shorts and basically flashes all of his fans. He was shortly then after sent off the pitch to his own surprise. <laughs> This next footballer does the exact same thing, however he was luckily not sent off the pitch but instead rewarded with his teammates celebrating with him. This next player actually does something incredibly stupid. Not only does he get sent off for this, but he probably suffered some actual brain damage after he smashes his head through some plastic in this seating area where the managers and players sometimes sit. Now this is obviously like really stupid because not only did he get sent off, but he's also damaging 
the stadium's property. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe if you're new around here with post notifications on and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.